would like to talk to Dr. Lana Staley about relationships. We, we, we struggle with it a lot, Rochelle and I. She doesn't so much, but I do. Well, the, sort of she does, I the guess. The trouble is most relationships, they involve a man and a woman. Right. And, and really, that what we see is that men want the bottom line. What's the result? What am I supposed to do? And women want to paint a picture. Right. right. Men um, hear only pieces of what we say, and we, we do. We, we go into long explanations. We think we're being helpful, really. We think we're going to tell them this whole thing, but you're saying they don't really get it. They don't really hear all that we're saying. If you can't say it in ten words, they're probably not going to hear it. Ten words? Ten words. Okay, ten words. But wait words. a minute, because I have a question, because that's me. My husband would go on and on and on, but I'm the reverse. I'm the ten words, and he wants to give me the flowers. Not to me, you're not ten words, well, just to him. Yeah. Maybe I don't want to hear him. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there is Seriously. that. Maybe you've heard it all before. Maybe. So does that happen? And that happens women? a lot in women. It does. That women will be telling this whole story. And really, you, if you don't make your point in like your first ten words, then go on if you want to. He may or may not be listening. but. It, Tell him what you want him to hear in the beginning, not at the end. Because yes, he's going to well, pay attention yeah. for that few minutes. But, you know, you have to get some of this stuff out, too. How do you communicate when mm -hmm. you're upset? They've we're done angry. something yes. and we're angry. Well, you, you, for one thing, you get a time and a place that you agree on, and you tell him, I really want you to hear this. Okay. I'm not just spouting off because I had a bad day. I have something I want you to hear. And then you tell him, and you, again, you tell him the important part first. Okay. If you start with, the, I am so mad at you, bye. Oh, that's it. Well, that's what we do, too. That's Don't true. you? I am so angry. How dare you treat me this way? Yes. Yes. Well, you lost He's him. gone. I lost him. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. gone. Okay. If that's instead, good information. It's very good. If instead you, you say, I'm upset about something I need to talk to you about and see if you can just listen to me and help me figure out a better way to deal with this. Oh, you want me to help. Oh. I'll oh. help. Helper. It's the helper, mm -hmm. because men like to succeed with women. When I listen to my men, I have a lot of male clients. The one thing they say to me over and over is, I just want her to be happy. Mm -hmm. I want her to be pleased with what I do. Mm -hmm. I'll do anything she wants. But, you know, whatever I do, there's always something wrong with it. I was too late. I was too early. I forgot one piece. You know, uh, they've been so talking to Harry. She knows Harry. I don't know Harry. Well, don't you, I, mean, I don't think there's a, a woman alive that hasn't experienced what you're talking about, and we really don't know what to do. We just get more and more frustrated. And you know what we do? We yeah. shut down. We stop talking. That's what I do. I just literally stop talking. I go away. Well, it's like we're beating our down. head against yeah, the wall. Like so why times? bother? Yeah. Well, and the bad thing is, when you go away, you re-trigger the fear response. Okay, mm. now she's leaving me. Mm. I've failed. Forget it. But what men want is touch. Men want physical contact. Yes, that's true. They want, and if you really, really want them to listen and, and pay attention, you go, honey, and then you wait. So you go like this. Do it like this. I kind of like that. I think I would like that if somebody did so that. So what if we and touch ourselves? Honey? <laughs> <laughs> and then I wait. Yeah. Honey? I don't think it's quite the same thing. Oh. So <laughs> what do you think the touch does? It's, it's a matter of endorphins and steroids. And steroids are the, okay. the neurotransmitters that give us our get up and go and our fight and our flight and all of that. The endorphins calm us down make us relax, they repair self, they make us smile. So what happens when you touch him like this? He gets endorphins and he starts to relax and he doesn't have to do fight or flight. <laughs> I'm going to have to try this. You do have to I try Well, don't try you have this. to try it when you're in a nice conversation? You can't be screaming at him and then go <laughs> like this. <laughs> That would uh, work. No, this, <laughs> that is how I do it. Hi, honey. <laughs> oh, and you think you're going to slap him? That's why I'm telling you he's going to yeah, run. Well, no, I mean, might, might see? Be a I guess we have to set it up, you, right? You wanted to have him clean the garage, right? Yes, absolutely. So what, what Dr. Lana is saying is that you put your hand on his face and ask him to. Right. No. 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 Oh, see? Oh, oh see, so now we have. Oh, I'm never good. wrong. Right? You, I have to make an appointment to clean the garage. Yes. Is that normal? If you, what you want to do. I didn't do this. I yes. just said, okay, next Saturday. I had but to, you're I had, bossing him. Well, I can't help it. I can't get it done otherwise. <laughs> See? And why would he want to do it? Because it would make me happy. Oh, would it? Yes. So it really makes you get? happy? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
That's exactly right. Happy. He gets nothing. Now let me think. Well, we get a clean garage. He gets to put the oh. car back in the garage. So it, you know. Well, what yeah. should he get? Okay, you All need right. to tell us well, what okay. should he get. So what's the end result? If How am I supposed to do this? If what he wants mm -hmm. is to please you, yes, right. it's probably not by cleaning out the garage. True. <laughs> 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 you can try right. an incentive. You can say, look, if we get the garage cleaned up next weekend, let's go to Palisades. Let's spend the mm -hmm. afternoon. Ruth Chris. Ruth Chris. That would be a motivator for yeah. Harry. You know, <laughs> you know, it would be. Well, let's have a really nice evening. So we'll get the garage cleaned out, and then we'll have a really special date night. And we'll just have a really good time. That's how I do it. Is that how you do it, really? You have to give them a reason. Yes. And it has to be something they want. It's like a child. And, and it is a, like a child. And also, you can't just send them out there by themselves. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I was there. Okay. No, no. Yeah, we okay. have to do it together. Men do try to please women, but it doesn't work in the reverse. It doesn't. I mean, it works in the reverse that if you want to have sex or you want to do what they want to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, right, yeah, well, right, mm -hmm. right, right, right. So when we're asking them to do what we want them to do, they need to get something out of it. So you give them an incentive, whatever that is. Positive reinforcement. After you clean the garage, you can go play golf. Yeah. Oh, you're not. <laughs> no. oh, that's not. That's, that's not working either. I don't think Dr. Lana is thinking about that. <laughs> I think Dr. Lana is someplace else. <laughs> Actually, Are you saying that you have to give them sex better. is the incentive? Whatever they like. Whatever they like. Is it sex? If well, it's I would dinner, think, yeah, okay. Sex is high on the list of okay. most men. Okay, right. Sure. Okay. So, I mean, if he's Depending doing on the age. Yeah, but if he's doing something <laughs> yeah, Well, you, you know, right. I mean, it's not you work for me and then you can go off and do something by yourself. It doesn't have oh. a lot of romance embedded in it. Right. Can you get men to be romantic? Is there any way, really? Yes. Is there how? <laughs> by leading them. Now, leading there's a them. number of these toy stores for women yes right and men i mean lovers is probably the absolutely yes and they have sexy little dresses you yes. can get and they have little toys you can right get. right because we own the brain needs new stimulation well what it, you're telling us is that our expectation of men is just so unrealistic. Un unrealistic. And that's why we get in these fights. That's why we have all these divorces. Is because we keep expecting them to behave like we behave. Absolutely. And, and you're telling us that's not going to happen. I can't tell you how many women I've talked to. I want him to be romantic. I want him to be more involved with the kids. Right. I want him to be nicer to my parents. I want him to go out with our friends more often. I mean, you can divorce this guy and marry another one, and pretty soon you're going to have those same kind of fights. <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> That's so very true. You have some experience with this. Yes, uh, I do. I, I have a lot of experience with this. <laughs> I have a lot of experience. But if somebody had told me, this is really mm -hmm. important, Dr. Yes. Lana, is that if I could have stayed with him and worked through those issues, um, I, I think things would have been better for everybody. But I didn't know how to do it. When you look at all of this new research on the brain, it's just really clear that the male brain doesn't work like the female brain. It, it just doesn't work, and so they disengage, then we're mad, mm -hmm. then we don't want to engage physically, then... That's exactly, you, go. you got the story. And there That's, you go. That's the story. Mm -hmm. We the disengage. Yes, we disengage. Yeah. And you're telling us how to re-engage. Yeah, and I, really, creating new experiences. I have my couples take turns getting having date nights, and they cannot have done the same thing before. Really? Doesn't that sound like fun? Oh, it sounds Especially great. if they figured it out. Because well, who figures it out in your turn. house? They do. They, they have, have to, to figure take their it out. Turn. And it's mm -hmm. fun. Sure it's, it is. You do things that you wouldn't have done wouldn't before. Have done, and you, and you mm -hmm. re right. have to research it a little, like when we're young and dating or old and dating, whatever we're doing. Sure. It doesn't matter how it works out. It matters that mm -hmm. you're engaged. We tried active. something. It matters yeah. that you have a new experience. In fact, some of the most fun experiences are the ones who don't that don't turn out very well. Right. Because you have a memory of it. Oh yeah, sure. and you laugh. Right. And you laugh. 